Far Cry 3 is the latest in Ubisoft's open world shooter series. The games have gone through highs and lows in the series history, but are now hoping to win over gamers with this latest offering. But does it deliver? Let's go shoot me! You are me! Well, from a playtest of the first few hours of the game, we can say Far Cry 3 is a brilliant improvement over its predecessors, but it's still lacking that essential spark to take on the first-person shooter Big Boys. However, there are still stacks to keep you interested in the game. From the moment you boot it up, there's brilliant bits to enjoy. From being drugged up with magic mushrooms and paragliding across the beautiful landscapes on the island. And instantly the tone is set for what is a much darker and more violent game than previously seen in the series. It kicks off with sort of a holiday highlight reel, which cuts to the game's protagonist, Jason Brody, trapped in a bamboo cage with his brother. You're then straight away introduced to Vass, the main enemy in the game, and set with the task of breaking you and your brother free from the prison using various stealth techniques. You are eventually captured and your brother is killed as a result, but luckily you escape and are introduced to a fruitful landscape and characters who will teach you the ways of the island and how to deal with their hostile inhabitants. After escaping you must unscramble a nearby radio mast to help villagers fighting against Vass and his army who have the island under control. And from here on you are given the entire island to explore. While there is a set story to follow, you can spend hours on side missions and just seeing what the island holds in its grasps. But be warned if you do decide to go for a wander early on in the game, you will struggle, as you need a good arsenal to tackle some of the areas of the island where some of the tougher inhabitants reside. There are also some similarities to Ubisoft's other main franchises, namely Assassin's Creed. Unscrambling the radio towers to reveal map data is almost identical to synchronising your surroundings in Assassin's Creed. And just like Assassin's Creed, there is a combination of great voice acting and great characters to interact with. You steadily start to meet the weird and wonderful characters of the island, and even other people that went missing from your group, who will then send you on missions to help them and ultimately avenge the death of your brother. After running around the island for an extended period of time, you quickly notice that Far Cry 3 uses an intelligent and well laid out waypoint system for the maps that makes it easy to negotiate the game world and find missions. And the more missions you complete, the more upgrades and skill improvements you'll be rewarded with. And it's not just hostile people you'll come across while exploring, there's also a whole host of animals vying for your blood. Graphically, the game looks brilliant, definitely pushing the 360 and PS3 to their limits. The beauty of the island really comes across, and the water and lighting effects look amazing, but it's the story that makes us want to play more. With great characters, we are eager to see where it all goes next. Overall, we think Ubisoft has done a great job with Far Cry 3. It looks and plays brilliantly, with a rich and vibrant storyline to get lost into. However, it still isn't wildly different from the previous titles, and just doesn't have the level of playability that you'll find with Halo or Call of Duty but they've still added some brilliant elements that will make the game thoroughly enjoyable for newcomers. Our only worry though is that this will get lost among the competition. With Halo 4, Black Ops 2 and the Wii U all coming out around the same time, it runs the risk of going unnoticed in such a competitive market. You see, mate, we're not the savages. We are the shepherds.